All right. We've got two different chips here. We've got one that's going to be right there. That one's a little bit harder to see. Uh, but you're first going to drill on the chips because they're not connected. So you're going to have to drill them to get a connection. You'll also have to tap them. Now I am zoomed up quite a bit on these, so this might look pretty big when you're when you're looking at it here. That one was hard to see it connect, but it did connect. And you just tap them real lightly. You don't have to do too much to them. And we are using a single suction cup, single injector, real easy to do. Put it on there, don't really even have to use any grease. <clears throat> You'll end up using the chip resin. Only takes about two to three drops once the tool's already been used before. If it's a dry tool, first time using it, after you've cleaned it, uh, you end up using about four to five drops. You'll use pressure and vacuum cycles to, to do that. Pressure to push in the resin, vacuum to suck out the air that's left in there. And you'll do that back and forth a couple times. We have a second one over here which probably will be a little easier to see. And this one does have quite a few legs on it, so hopefully we'll be able to see this one a little better. And again, you'll drill this so you can get a connection on there. Hopefully you can see it, see that happening. The nice thing about the system is you can go back and forth and do multiple repairs at a time. So that one is is done. We'll go on to the next one over here now. Doesn't take very long for that to cure. Only a couple minutes. If it's overcast, sometimes it can take an extra minute or two. And again, real easy, single injector. Just push it down, doesn't even really need any grease. It has a tab that you flip down and that'll raise the suction cup up to get you your suction on there. Put a couple drops in the tool. Do some pressure and vacuum cycles on there. You could even do multiple tools if you wanted to. If one's, if it is cloudy, give it, taking a while to get that cured. So you can do multiple tools at a time or multiple repairs at a time. This one had a unique break with having multiple legs on it, so we ended up drilling it in two different spots to get it all connected. Most of the time you don't have to do that, but occasionally you do. Using the paper towel will also, uh, like he has it, block the sun and help give you a little bit more time if you do need it to, a little more time to finesse it. Sometimes cracks and chips can be a little bit picky, so sometimes you need to give yourself a little bit extra time. <clears throat> Alright, so we got that one nice and filled, gonna give it some time to cure. And when you're adjusting the tool, you wanna give about, oh, it's a little more than an eighth of an inch gap between the base of the suction cup and the mounting for the suction cup the area right in there you run about a little more than an eighth of an inch uh, and then you can use that back to uh, screw to adjust same with the front get the correct pressure you need all right and that plastic tab is just covering that up with some pit filler that pit filler is just gonna fill in any missing surface glass from when the rock actually impacted it The pit filler doesn't take very long to cure, usually only about 30 seconds or so. And while all of this is going on, you can have your customer be filling out the information on your paperwork and calling it in.
turned out pretty nicely. You can see we haven't scraped off the excess pit filler on there, but that one's done and cured. Same thing, just put on the cure tab, little pit filler, flatten it down, let the sun cure it. Just back those off when you're ready to, to take the tool off. You also want to back off the injector, otherwise your excess resin will spray everywhere, as well as your O-ring most of the time will pop out of the tool. So you want to back off the pressure off of it before you remove the tool. Just scraped off a little bit of the excess around it and then goes back and forth to remove the top layer. Makes it flush with the windshield. Let's see it on this one. So you just taking off the excess around it and just scrapes off the excess. Again, I am zoomed up on these chips quite a bit, so when we're all done, I will back off and show you from the seated position area what you would normally be seeing. Now I am all the way back. You can see those two little dots on there. That's just a little bit of polish. Hope cleans up the pit filler. That's usually what you're going to notice the most. Above there is the bigger one, hard to see. The other one, try to get the right angle, right above my finger there. So again, very hard to see, and only took about six minutes to do. For more information, go to crackeraserprokits.com or call me at 719-331-5966. Thank you.